everybody and welcome back to Crazy Bees. This is Debbie and in case this is your first time joining us, I try to provide content on this channel that will help you and give you tips, tricks, tools for the things that you're trying to accomplish. We cover gardening. Um, I am not a master gardener by no means but I am starting a backyard garden and trial and error. And when I learn something new or when I'm trying something new, I put it on the channel to try to inspire and or help you have different ideas on different things you may be able to do. And either if it worked or if it didn't, if you're going to have success or not. And your area is different than mine, so you may or not may not have that same success because we are all in different zones. Even when we are in the same zone, the climate is different in different areas. So it's just been fun um, with trial and error, seeing what works and what doesn't. We are just in the beginning stages. We are building uh, planter boxes, raised beds, putting in our own trees and doing that kind of content there. And then we also have chickens. And so sometimes I just post about the silly things that they're doing. Other times I'll be posting about the things that I use, the feed that I give them, um, how they're interacting with each other, what kind of chickens they are, uh, and what, what they are, if they're multi-purpose or just different ideas for your chickens. And then I do cleaning videos also because cleaning is my business. I have been cleaning for over 30 years and um, I've had a professional business for 30 years and then I cleaned in the home healthcare field and stuff like that before that. So I've been cleaning for a very long time. But today my main focus is my favorite vacuum. I am not going to be doing comparisons today on different products. I will be doing that in the future, but today I just want to go over my favorite vacuum. So my favorite vacuum is the Shark, and I don't know if you can see them all here. I've got this guy here. This is the uh, Zero M, uh, the Shark Power Lift Away. This, and it's a duo with the hair cutter. So this is one of my favorites. This is a duo, and this is one of the first ones that they came out with. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna angle down a little bit more. Okay, so this one here is the duo, one of the first duos that came out. And as you can see, it has a smaller head. This one here has the wider head on it, you know, in, in the width. And this one was smaller, okay? But it's also a lift away, and I'm gonna show you the difference in the lift aways. We were replacing once a year maybe on our vacuums, uh, which is great when you're using it for commercial purposes. Um, these are not made for commercial purposes, but I used them in my business and they, they really did a very good job. The suction power on these is amazing. When you go into vacuums with the most suction, you're going to find Sharks and Dysons. Those are the two that you're going to find that have the best quality of suction um, for, for your money. Now, I'm not gonna get into Dysons today, but uh, you do get more bang for your buck, um, in my opinion, with a Shark. So we have that one, and then I have the duo in the handheld. Um, this is not my favorite. This is good for bare floors, but just like anything else that's lighter weight, I don't think it's the best for carpeting. It, it works, but it doesn't have that same power that you get out of the other ones. Um, and the plug-in ones, or the battery charged ones, I believe are even worse. So not my favorite here. And then I've had many of the other ones 
uh, over the years. Uh, when a new shark comes out, you can bet I'm going to try to purchase that. I'm, I'm like a kid with video games. A new one comes out, I need it. I need to try it. Um, so speaking of that, this is one of the newest ones that are out right now. And I am in love with it. It is wonderful. Now it's going to be your higher priced one because it's newer. But uh, it has some really great features on it. And this is the one that I'm going to be demonstrating today. I'm going to show you my three top tools that I love to use with the shark after I show you from where it comes to your house in a box, what it looks like, how easy it is to put together, and what to do with some of the tools that you have and how to, to use it and dump it and all of those good things. So if you ever get a shark, if you watch this, it'll kind of be a tutorial for you. When I purchased this, it came with this uh, steam mop. Now Shark has quite a few steam mops that are out on the market too. I've tried several of them. Now this one is going to be your probably one of your lowest levels. When you turn it on, it doesn't have an on off switch. If you want it off, you have to unplug it. Um, but you know, it was for free and it still works. And it came with two pads. This is what the pads look like. So they're nice scrubby pads. They got the Velcro on the back and you just, you know, you just set it right on there. So here, if you want to take this one off, I always just put my feet on either side. <laughs> this is not going to work for me right now. Okay. Anyway, when I'm standing up, I put my feet on either side. And this is newer, so it's got really good, um, really good Velcro still. And then you're just going to take this and you're just going, whoops, that's the back end. You got to watch for the curves on the top. And then just plop it down on there and it's on. And then you're going to plug it in and you'll start here, the steam, you'll start hearing the steam working through the, the vents on the base. When I do this, I always get my pads wet first. Um, not sopping wet, I have them wrung out, but I do start with a damp uh, pad. That's just how I like to do it. It's not per manufacturer's instructions. So always, whenever you're doing anything with any of these vacuums, follow the manufacturer's instructions. I'm just telling you how I do things. So without further ado, I am going to first show you how it's going to come in the package. So when you first buy your shark, it's going to come in a box. see that? I'm trying to show you what it does and I went and dumped out a bunch of dirt. Because that are here, they all work differently. And this one I'm still getting used to. So, before I go any further, I'm going to clean up this mess. in it's going to be in different pieces you're going to have your uh, floor attachment or your carpet attachment right here you're going to have your canister right here and if that uh, comes in different pieces which it shouldn't it should just come like this and this cord will be all wound up um, and all nice clean and pretty okay and then you're going to have your hose and this part connects into the your vacuum cleaner. And then you're going to have the extender wand. 
which is right here. There's no screws, there's no equipment needed to set this up. So you'll start with your base. You're going to put on your canister. So you see where these lines are right here? Right there? You're going to line this up with those lines snaps right into place just like that then you're going to take this wand these will be on the left hand side and you're just going to slip it right in there and did you hear that click that means it's locked in then you take this hose attachment you're going to put it right in there click then this guy here is going to go right in there okay put it in click and you're good to go when you want to start vacuuming of course you have it plugged in there's a little foot thing right here that it shows the, a little a little emblem of a foot you just push down on that and that's you're ready to go right here is your power button here there's always three settings on your shark you have your hard floor attachment here low carpet here this is where i usually always have mine sitting at unless i'm doing some kind of a shag carpet or one of those heavy rugs then i have it up here so this is where you're getting your most airflow this is medium airflow this is low airflow so here you're going to get the most suction here you're getting medium suction here you're getting a, a, a lot of hardly any suction at all is what I'm trying to say but down here is where you'll get your most suction on the hard floor okay now to start this oh the other amazing thing that came with this particular model that isn't on any of the other models is this guy here it's an odor neutralizer so if you have pets or whatever, you know that sometimes the filter starts to stink uh, because of, for whatever reason, your dog got wet and was stinky or whatever. I mean, it happens. So right down here, there is this nozzle for the odor neutralizer. And you just pick up on that handle. Let's see if I can do this. Right there. And then you can twist it and you twist it out and this right here is the cartridge you would unscrew that cartridge right here it shows that it's locked or unlocked you would unlock it take out that cartridge and put in a new cartridge and this one comes with two um these came with the vacuum so when i want more i'll have to do that and then on this dial, you can do go with a low neutralizer or a high. You can pick your uh, neutralizer. And I have two dogs and one of them is a bull mastiff. So mine's on high. So that was one of the other things that I loved about this. And the other thing with this one here and this one, they both have the duo rollers and they're the hair cutters so you know how when you're vacuuming and you um let me take this off you're vacuuming and this roller here just gets so plugged up with dirt and hair well not dirt but hair wound all up and around it that's not going to happen with this because it's a thicker rubber and it actually cuts that hair uh, it's amazing and then this here is why they call it the duo when you're when you'll see when i'm doing the floors i love using this on my floors because you don't have any residual dust or anything you can literally if you're in a dusty room i wish i had darker wood floors because i could literally show you like on a demonstration how it leaves nothing it picks up all the dust and everything with this duo so that's another benefit that I really love about that. And if you ever have to get into this, on these ones, this thing right here on the side, you just push that up and then this guy pops right out, okay? Because sometimes you might get some hair or something wound around this, uh, not very often. Um, 
And then to put it back in, you just put it back in that hole and line it back up on this side and it pops right back in, okay? So that's the way that you clean that out. Now, if you're wanting to clean up the canister, you push this button that's in the back right here. That unloosens the canister. And then on this one here, there's two knobs right here, okay? You push that, I'm gonna to try to do that without letting go of all my stuff, and that's going to open up the top. Sometimes, because there's a filter right here, sometimes hair and stuff will get wrapped up in this filter. So you just pull it out. Um, our bigger, bigger things like rocks and things like that will also shoot up into here. So that's how you empty this one. Now to empty the large one on this one, which is also a new feature, and I'll show you on the other ones what the other ones do, um, you got the thing right here on the back. You just push down on this and it opens this whole bottom. So you wanna have it over a garbage can, then hit that and it'll all just fall out into the garbage can. And then here is your filter. Now every, for a residential home that only, you know, you're only using it in your house. You should be good to clean this out or something. It depends on how much you use it, every three to six months. Um, or you could just buy a new one off of Shark Home um, and then go into accessories. This is your bottom filter. This is your top filter, okay? And you can see how much how much of the dust it grabs. I just, I just love sharks. Um, I do mine with uh, Dawn dish soap. I run it under the sink and I wash it and then I let it dry for 24 hours. You never want to put a wet filter into your vacuum. Always make sure that it's completely dry. Uh, you can also use, um, we have a, uh, what are those big orange vacuums? Just try shop that out in the garage and sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I didn't wash it and I need to get it cleaned off I'll just vacuum it off with the shark back and then um, or not the shark back but the shop back and then just put it back in there okay and then you kind of just kind of angle it line up your front right here angle it and then it just snaps into place okay so that's all of that and then that put, goes back in there now, when you're wanting to use your hose attachment, you can either use a short hose or a long hose. This one right here, you just push down. This is for your short hose. Come down here, you got another button right there. That's for your long hose, okay? So you got a pretty good extension on here. Now, I will say Dyson has a longer cord on theirs, uh, but, this one is just way more manageable. Okay, at this point, I am going to be kind of starting and stopping the video so that I can show you something and then I have to get into the right place to be able to show you the next thing without dragging you along and making you dizzy. So the first thing that I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you off the tripod and turn this around so that you can see what I'm working with where dirt wise is concerned on my floor. And I am not in a client's home, I am in my home. And we get a lot of debris because we are always going in and out um, of the house. But my first favorite tool I would have to say would be my roller brush, uh, my, main, my main brush here. Uh, like I said, I really love that it's the duo and it's going to give you a, it's going to show you how the suction works and exactly what I'm talking about and how it just about picks up everything. And it's going to show you also how I use the lift away with this. Oh, that's one more thing I wanted to show you before we get started. So on this, you notice when I take the lift away off, there's nothing here, right? So I can literally take this and I can go under beds with this. I can go anywhere with this as long as it's high enough. Where if, you know, you have an attachment here, you can only go so far and then you're hitting 
different things. So that's that's one of the other things that I absolutely love about the liftaways. Now this one here has a lift away also, but with your older models, when they lift away, they lift away just like this, but see, you have that. The main purpose of these liftaways was that you would be able to use your hose to be able to go up stairs and things like that. You're not able to attach anything to this to be able to use this um, under beds and things like that. So that is a downfall of these ones. But you still have your different attachments that would work for that also. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is the lift away, please. Disregard my messes, I still got all of my <laughs> projects that I'm working on on the kitchen table, including dehydrating those peppers. But I'm gonna show you how to use it under this chair. I would love to show you how to do it under a bed, but that would be too difficult with videoing um, with that dark space. So I wanna show you where it's light, how to attach it, disattach it, and, and what to do there. Okay, so here you have the vacuum, right here. Okay, you're gonna look for whichever lever says lift away. Um, some of your vacuums have four buttons right here. The lift away sometimes is in different spots, but normally you're gonna find it right here towards the front top. So you're gonna lift this off straight up and hold on to that. You're gonna use your foot pedal to push down on that base to get that flat. You turn it on. And then you're gonna have to just go into your table. to go again with your vacuum. So like I said, I could have easily just moved those chairs and, and done it with the regular, but I wanted to show you how that actually works. Now, my tools. The tools are very important. They do so many things and help you and make things so much easier. My favorite tool, and you know what, I haven't even tried to see if that'll work on this one. It will, okay. This is called a Hero. This is my favorite floor cleaning tool. So if I'm in houses and I am trying to sweep the floors and they're very dusty or hairy, um, I often use a Swiffer, a double Swiffer, and I'll show you, that's another video. But um, this, is, this is my favorite floor cleaning tool. One of my main areas here that needs that is this area right here where we're always ending up dragging in some kind of dirt debris whatever now for this one i would use the smaller um, attachment right here because i like getting right down into the space that i'm working in that snaps right into there just kind of shimmy it in there okay now this is ready to go
so that gets out all of the loose debris. So then at the next step, you can just take a washcloth and clean all that out. Hello, Scarlett. She's my main reason my tracks get so nasty. So you can see that all of the loose debris is out of those tracks. So that works really well there. The next place I wanna show you where this tool would work really well is in the bathroom or in your kitchens or anywhere you have a vent. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the longer brush. So I'm gonna take this shorter one off. Hold on. Okay, I tried to zoom in, but I couldn't get it to zoom in. But you can see the amount of dust that is up in that vent, okay? So I took off the short wand replaced it with the large wand. I have my crevice tool here with the brush attachment. I'm gonna show you what that does. can see that totally took that all off of there and you've watched me in deep clean videos where I have just gone along in there with the broom and just knocked everything down so when I'm in deep cleans I will just knock everything down top to bottom but when I'm in my own home I don't want all that dust flying through the air or all that stuff all over all of my toilet paper toilet and you know where the dust just and the debris just falls everywhere I don't want that on all of my stuff. So this crevice tool comes in very handy for that and many, many other things. You can use it on your baseboards, you can use it on your edges, on your vents, you can use it on pictures. For some reason, I always have to turn off the camera to get it to go in the other direction. So this was my number two cleaning tool. This one we're gonna try out today. It is an under appliance tool. These make me nervous because you never know what's dropped under there, but I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, if it's a big piece, nothing big is gonna go through here. And then as I showed you in the canister, if something big does go through there, um, it's going to get put into that top canister, but that doesn't stop it from going through the hose. So that's what makes me nervous there, but we're gonna try that. This is another one that came along with it. This I would say you can use on um, your clothing if you're trying to get dog hair and stuff off of your clothing. It's very soft. Um, this is actually a little bit velvety with a little bit of a scratchy kind of surface that would grab pet hair but wouldn't scratch anything. This is a tool that you can use on your uh, Boy, car floors, you can use it on anything. You can use it on your couches. You can use it on anything like that. This is another crevice tool. I don't know why it came with two, but this one is shorter and it doesn't have the little uh, brush attachments on it. And this one here is a dust brush. So you could use this up on your fans. Um, I used my Swiffer, but you could use this on fans, upside, downside. Um, look at that. It's got all the soft velvety and these are very soft brushes, so it would not scratch anything. And then coming to my other favorite tool would be this guy here. Uh, this is the tool that I would use on my stairs and on my, my couches 
to vacuum them off, take the cushions, vacuum off the cushions, vacuum off underneath the cushions, my pillows, uh, anything that you can't put the regular vacuum on, I would be using this on. So I'll show it to you on the stairs. So this will be our next one. And this one here is just another one that uh, came with one of the other vacuums. This is a tool that I always make sure that I have with me. And then of course, here's the Hero. This does not come with it. It is also sold separately. So when I go to buy a vacuum, I try to see how much bang I can get for my buck and how much I can get extra to come along with the vacuum and not just be buying the vacuum. Because different combos come with different things. Just like this one came with those cartridges for the odor control and it came with the um, all of these attachments. And what else did it come with? The attachments, the odor control, the extra cartridges, and this roller brush, um, because not all of them will come with a roller brush either. So let's go see how this works on the stairs. Okay, so here we are at the stairs. We are going to use the tool and we're going to use the lift away. So on the stairs, obviously I don't want the taller tool because I like being having more control over my wand. Uh, and if I'm holding it up like this, it actually takes more, puts more pressure on my arms. So I've got my attachment. I have it on hard floor tool. I'm going to hit the lift away. Okay, we'll move this out of the way. And I always work my way up to down. So if anything does fly out or there is any debris, it's going to come down. Now, if you want, before you even use this guy, you can go around with just your attachment and get your edges. I just did my stairs a few days ago, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm just going to do this with my hard floor attachment. So have it on hard floor and hit the power. I don't know why I told you to do hard floor attachment. We're not on hard floors and that has got some suction. You can't even move it. So, okay, we're going to middle. here so you can see the lines that that vacuum was leaving it's got a very very good suction and the last tool that we are going to try today that I said we would try is this under appliance wand now I have never tried this appliance before I don't even know if it's going to fit under my appliance so we're going to try this together I am going to use the longer wand attachment to do this. And I am going to put it under the floor cleaner, the hard floor, which is down here. And then we're going to stick it under here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Ah, cool. Okay, 
I just, I went to stick it under there and this was like not letting me do it. But look at this. Ah! It totally bends. That is amazing. So I could even get above my kitchen, uh, my refrigerator, I could totally get up here and I can vacuum this up. Let's do that. could see what I was doing. So we're going to grab this ladder. We're going to take this off. I'm going to put the big wand back and I'm going to use a small one. Whoops, ramming into stuff here. Put this on here so I can see what I'm doing. up here. for that but you could easily use a different tool if you wanted to me I would just grab a rag and um, wipe this area off because I can actually reach this area where I can't get all the way back there with my hand uh, so yeah I would say that's a great tool for that um, or I would use a swiffer so now let's see what it does under here like this and I got under there and I could totally hear look at that there's a piece of dog food it totally sucked that up but it didn't let it go through so that's what I was worried about and obviously I didn't have anything to worry about so with all of those little things right there and that notch and all that felt um, I'd say this is a winner now there is a pan that sits in the center of my refrigerator, so I would pull that out um, to get in there even better. But I would, I would call that a winner because you could actually get under, let's see, I have my china hutch right there. I can't get the vacuum under there because it sits too low. I could use this. I have my table that's got that bar that goes across the bottom. I could use this. Um, for that 
that cross section there on the floor. I have my china hutches here. Could totally use this under there. This would be a great tool. Um, I say it's a win. I like it. Okay, you guys. So I hope this helps you um, to decide if you want to go with a shark or not. And just to give you a little bit of an idea of the different things that it can do and how versatile it is and how it can help you and to get into places that are kind of hard for other vacuums to be able to get into and not as easy to access those tools to be able to use them as quickly as possible. Which in my business, I am always trying to get done to get to the next job. So. I need something that is going to work very well for me. And the shark has done that for me for many years. Uh, when I first started cleaning, I was using, oh, you guys, I was using a Kirby. And let me tell you, those things are so heavy to lug in and out of your um, car. <laughs> When you're trying to carry that and all of your other cleaning equipment, it, it was difficult. This is lightweight. Um, it is not heavy at all. Um, for an individual that needs something lighter, there are lighter sharks. Um, they might not be the duos, it'll be the, the smaller brands. Um, sometimes these guys here, you know, this guy isn't too heavy. Um, He's not heavy at all, as a matter of fact, and he would work well for, for a single individual or uh, someone with some disabilities or anything like that. But like I said, it's not the best on carpeting, uh, but it is more lightweight. So I hope this helps you to be able to decide if you are in the market for a new vacuum, if this is something that you would be interested in buying. I am not sponsored by Shark at all. Um, but it is my favorite vacuum <laughs> with cleaning for so many years um, this is this is definitely the one that i would go with in another video we will go over some different vacuums and some different experiences that i have had uh, with other vacuums and um, just so you have an idea of where i sit on those things also so i hope you guys have a great week and uh, we will see you again next week with some more fun and usually entertaining content. Talk to you soon.